what's on my reaction? It's Barack Obama. It's Barack Obama. That's my reaction. It's Obama. No. No, they steal everything. They cheat, lie, and steal. They do the work of the devil. That's who they are. That's who they are. That's the only way they're going to stop Trump from being president is to murder him. I'm sorry for my language. I just got down. This is a day that'll get out in infamy. A day that'll get out in infamy. All right? Shame, shame, shame. Did I see anybody bleeding? I saw Trump get up. I told a man was shot over shot over here, all right, several times. They carried him out. Now, was it the shooter? I do not know. It appears the shooter may have been over there. But he went down on the stage. He was down, he was down for a while, all right? Now, I don't know if they were just telling him to stay down, probably. Uh, but, but when he came up, he showed some sign that he was, something happened to him, all right? And then he gave the thumbs up sign. He gave the thumbs up sign. He left here. He looks to be in, in decent health. He's going to survive. And this will be the shot heard around the world, all right? This is the shot heard around the world. All right? This was not, this was not a lone shooter. This was JFK. That wasn't a lone shooter. All right? Do your homework. Hold on a second. What's up, blessed ones? You are now... Studios. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Listen, in. you want to know something else? Bless ones. to politicians and political but this is just really something I wanted to address it's not funny it's really sad I know a lot of people felt like it was staged a lot of people um believe that and of course that um you know there's already been made there already have been skits and jokes about it now, and regardless whether it was staged or not, what had happened the other day in Pennsylvania at a Trump rally, and again, I don't have all the details, but like I say, I'm just like anybody else. I wasn't there, so I can only go on what what are is happening because obviously there has been people that lost their life, including the shooter, um, but... <laughs> Trump was speaking in Pennsylvania and what seemed to sound like shots. And again, I'm not a gun connoisseur. I'm not going to act like that. I know what all guns sound like, but there was a shooter on the roof and they took, they, they shot at Trump and he was hitting the ear. My main thing was when he got up and put that Nation of Domination fist up, that was it for me. I was just kind of like, man, I pray and pray and hope that this is just a a different type of different type of ish situation. Because I know people was going in on Amanda Seals about her remarks on it. And then she came back and, you know, kind of retract her statement. But my main thing is, hey, good good for Trump. You know, he, he, you know, he survived. You know, I mean, again, this guy's, what is he, in the 70s, 80s or whatnot. And he was hit. But my main th- th- thing is, like, the security detail. 
Because, like I said, once again, despite all the conspiracy theories, despite all the opinions and what was going on, you know, a lot of people that were that are commenting on it, you know, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff, you know, they wasn't there. A lot of, we have been getting a lot of uh, reactions from people who were there, um, the Pennsylvania residents and Trump supporters, and of course they're going to you know stand what they got. You know, like I said, I'm not a Trump supporter. I'm not, you know, a Biden supporter. Um, what you heard earlier in the video, you know, I'm. I mean, it's. I feel like it's nonsense. I don't know why they people are always trying to bring Barack Obama. And this man has been out of office for almost ten years. And you know, it seems like people are still mad about it. And again, but again, like I said, I'm I can't say whether it was or not because I've watched enough TV, I watched enough wrestling, I watched enough rap videos, and seen enough of antics that's like certain things are real, and then certain things aren't, and then in casualties of war because even they talked about it on nine eleven. Because the the victims that were killed during this, my prayers go out to their families. And I just pray and hope that this wasn't something that was staged. Because once again, I don't have all the details. But like I said, I just wanted to point that out. Because at the same time, it was the Nation of Domination Fist. That's the highlight of that moment. The Nation of Domination Fist with the bloody ear and everything. That's straight out of a WWE storyline. But we all know, for those of you who are familiar, Trump is a Hall of Famer. And he is a celebrity and he is an entertainer. And I just hope and pray that it isn't. It wasn't. Because, again, like I said, I'm not going to sit here and act like that, you know, it's not impossible. Because it's like one of those things, a casualty of war. But um, for those who've lost their life during that, uh, my um, condolences to their families. But, um... You know, as always, I'm here to point out some things. This is episode 108. I am Blair. As it says in the intro, happy birthday to me. I'm not someone who make an announcement about it. You know, I'm grateful to see another year. I thank God for allowing me to see 37. But, um, you know, I will continue to bring y'all meaningful, substantial content. And one thing that I also want to touch on is there was this video that I seen earlier with Angel Reese and she was talking about how men or whoever was asking to get flew out now, <laughs> again, I'm not, you know, an advocate for cancel culture or advocate for Me Too movement. I mean, I do believe in equality and women's rights and everything. But what I mean, I'm not an advocate for it is that, you know, I want, I just want accountability. And... I just want to say, like, 
form on the judge, but men, y'all have to y'all have to pick up your balls. Okay, I understand that Angel Reese is a beautiful young woman. I don't know what the age range is on on um you know you know these men, but this is one of these type instances where it's like people always talk about gender roles and fifty fifties and everything like that. And I know that there are women who men have flew out and some have even addressed and spoke on not you know, not even giving them the cheek. But if you're really asking and Angel Reese, the inbox, ask her to fly you out. Like, you need to kind of just go watch some porn or do something. I mean, I, and again, as someone who is, uh, has been a recovering, reform, you know, porn addict, uh, addict. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to say I was an addict. But someone who knows the, the, um, disadvantage and the, the, I always get stumbled on my words, but to know that the the um how porn can affect us as men and as women, it's just kind of always funny to hear, and it's sad to hear because it's like again, I believe that men and women should be able to do certain things like um of the same but even with men flying women out like they say it's not tricking if you got it but even with men flying women out it's just it's just a different lifestyle and i don't know why even with even in women um that you feel the need to think that someone you don't even know would do something like that. And it, and it's one of those narratives that I always say is like, hey, just because there are certain instances doesn't make that the standard. All right? Because it's, 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 we're in a society now, and again, like we're in the, this is the internet's world. This is the internet's America. And the world is changing. Sometimes there's good and then there's also bad. But I just feel like when you're, and and I have to give, you know, them some grace. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm a 37-year-old man. And these are people probably in their early 20s, probably never had money, probably never even been outside their own city. But at the same time, you know, we have to still be able to, you know, take a stance on something. So me being a father and it's I'm talking to the young men out there, like, you know, have some respect for yourself, have some respect for women that you're interested in, women that you are involved with, or just even women you do not know, because again, people are crazy. So you have to be vigilant. And I, you know, I try to, you know, I can't stress it enough. I try to, um, incite that all, all the time because, you know, and, you know, all jokes aside, people get, you know, there's risk in that as well, you know, because it's like, you know, Hey, is this something like we have to start making better decisions in our lives? And I, and again, like, for me being older and, you know, being close to my 40s and, like, not always making the best decisions, it's like, man, maybe it's a different lifestyle, I don't understand, but I think there's still that, there's still that high frequency, you know, divine energy that we must all be attained with, you know, because... We can speak hypothetics, but let's speak realistically. For one, you don't 
you probably don't know this woman. And for two, why would she do that? And what would you expect with that? Because I'll tell you one thing. I don't care if I don't care if you you got a multi million dollar contract. And I'm my like my my pride as a man, like I'm not one of these. I'm like I don't like you can make way more than me. You can wait wait make more way than me. I wouldn't personally feel right feeling comfortable asking a woman, regardless of what her age is, like hey, find me out or can you do this? Because there's certain things that you just cannot ask a woman to do for you. Regardless if she makes more money than you or not. And I know this is a monetized generation now. Society now. Everything's everything's about getting a bag and getting a buck. But that's, you know, I just feel like that's kind of, you know, disrespectful and tasteless in my personal opinion. But again, that's just my opinion. But, you know, you got to stand in on those things. And then here's another question I do want to ask this because here's another video that I've seen. Going back again to Instagram, there was a guy, he was on, I forgot what song it was, but, but of course he was playing around. But what would you do if a man, or even if a woman comes up to you, starts singing to you and your partner's right there? Like, what do you, what do you do? Because, of course, it's probably something made for content, but, like, it's kind of like, that's kind of the same way as the whole thing with the Megan Good, Jonathan Mays, Michael Ely situation, because there was that video of, we only seen Michael Ely picking up Megan Good, um, hugging her, you know, they haven't seen him, but haven't seen each other in a while. And of course, we all know, you know, they have a, you know, a rapport and some type of um, relationship, whether if it was business or friendship or not. But it was like, you know, it's been a minute. And then I think it was D Smoke and his lady. But a lot of people was talking about, oh, they didn't acknowledge, he didn't acknowledge Jonathan Majors. But from from my view, it looked like he was just giving him that as well. But of course, so this social media there's always going to be some type of, you know, clip. So what is, what is um what's the saying that Charlamagne always say? Um, what was um? No one cares about the lie. One, no one cares about the truth and the lie more entertaining. And again, this is this again. This is this is my this is my this is my field. But you know, what are what would you say are the guidelines? Because there are guidelines. For God, I don't care what you say. There are guidelines in a relationship. And of course, everybody has their own relationship. Sometimes people feel like, hey, you know, it ain't based on, you know, whether you're married or not. But there are certain red flags. What is? How would you react? I pose this to the listeners. How would you react if some random man, some random person started singing to your partner? It, and and in all fairness, even if they was just you know playing around, how would you feel? What would you do? And then also in the other instance with the John the Mays and Michael Ely thing, because again we didn't hear any, like I didn't see any any uh any responses from them because the Shannon Sharp Megan Good interview actually happened. Like, you know, that was, that dropped probably like before this whole video went out and nobody's really talking about the Megan Good interview. But, um, I thought it was great. However, you know, there are, there are those, those cats out here who are, you know, kind of, you know, just waiting, waiting for you to mess up so they can get in on your girl and stuff. So they, and, and it's like, sometimes they, you know, can't be doing no fake handshake. 
But again, we don't know. They they probably have a relationship. A lot of people really hating on Mavis too. Like, you know, hey, they just mad and, you know, why, like, how they still, you know, they seem like, like, it, it's just so much. But again, like I say, sometimes we can't allow the comments and on social media to to kind of get under our skin because some a lot of the people come in are could be you know our children. Uh, some people are adults, but it's like hey, you gotta find your audience, find your you know algorithm because that's what happens. That's the algorithm. So I just posed that question. It was just really something quick. You know, because like I said, it's it's a new day, and I haven't really and and this this one was a little forced. It was just a couple of things on my mind because you know power is how often you know a lot of the shows that I watch. I should probably start doing you know doing those reviews, start doing that, making more clips um, on my page. But, you know, that's just something that just a couple things that stood out to me this weekend. You know, Trump being shot. Michael Ely being light-skinned. You know, and just the the etiquette and how you are to behave or how you're supposed to move when you're in a relationship. So, because I, I did watch... Divorce and the Black of Core Hardwick and Megan Good. And this kind of gave me the idea and gave me the thought of, like, man, you know, as someone who's been divorced, it's, it's some power. You know, there is some re- rel- there's some relations to the Trump. The Trump, Trump incident, con- Trump controversy, and this Megan Good, Martin Jonathan Mays, and Michael Ely. And I'm going to leave y'all with one thing. And I just still can't get over that Nation of Domination fist bump. Yo, that jump was funny. But um, I'm going to leave y'all with one thing. You know, everybody is talking about not trusting politicians. No, Donald Trump's not one. But um, also, believing the internet is not a real place. Leave that as it may. But the most important thing we have to remember, especially when you're only seeing things with your eyes, Because a lot of times our eyes can deceive us. And I mean, we have to be logical still here. We still have to make sense. But even with that, things aren't always what they seem. And because things aren't always what they seem, you have to remember to keep your view, keep your opinion. To yourself sometimes, because once again, you could be playing a dangerous game when you say certain things without having the whole story. A lot of times, people say allegedly. A lot of people have like will say, you know, I think like my opinion, but we have to be mindful of respecting other people's privacy, respecting other people's space, respecting other people's. You know, families, because again, we don't, we, we're, you know, we base certain things off hearsay. You know, what happened at Trump rally in Pennsylvania, you know, I believe it was live, but we, you know, when they said people died, and my whole thing is like, Sometimes it's okay to just be spectators. We don't have to be commentators. Just like even with the Jonathan Majors and the Megan Good, sometimes it's important to just let people move how they move. 
because one thing that I did say is some people who are that has views that has something to say about other people's relationships they're not the same people that's probably saying something like that supporting it we we just the algorithm just allows us to see all different opinions but like I said we can't please everybody so make sure y'all follow my YouTube page social media page I have some more um, have some more presence there for y'all some entertainment there some upliftment some stories there as well I'm a, I'm a, um you know now that I'm you know 37 I think I'm going to do some more rebranding redirecting as always nothing wrong with you know redirecting yourself and you know doing some soul searching because I think the most important thing in life that we can do is to grow and also leaving our mistakes and leaving our flaws out there because it goes back in people who don't mind don't people who matter don't mind and people who mind don't matter the, you the sentiment that sentiment I couldn't even get it out but um you know I want y'all to just be safe today and always be positive, be productive, and prosper. You know, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my um my day, and I'll I'll be back. And I'm I'm gonna probably start leaving you know more clips, and you know just be sure to like, share, subscribe. This is Blair Kendrick Kid Bear.